When you go to a barbecue place, you're normally thinking brisket, ribs, pulled pork. Not today. Today I'm trying Reuben, chili, and fried chicken sandwiches. Welcome to Gainesville's The Bones. with Bobby. It's going awesome on. to be here. Bobby's one of the owners. But what makes the bone unique, man? Well, we're, first of all, we're family owned and operated, which is unique in this area. We've got a lot of chain restaurants. We make everything fresh every single day it's between sides, sauces, our meats we smoke overnight, our brisket and our pork. We also smoke ribs, chicken, turkey during the day, even some wings. What is your specialty items here? Like if you had to pick one item, your go-to, what would it be? For me, I like the brisket. But being up in Northern Virginia and around the Carolinas, we sell the most pulled pork of anything else. Excellent. All right, so what are we starting with today? Today we're going to start with our brisket chili. Let's do this. All right, so we're going to start with our brisket. Real quick, so you got brisket in the chili? Brisket's in the chili. Oh, that's bomb. Okay. <laughs> we're going to start with our briskets. USDA choice. They come in about 12 to 15 pounds. I've taken the liberty of trimming this so you guys didn't have to sit through that process. We smoke these things for about uh, 12 to 15 hours, depending on the size and how long. Because you want that fat to drip down inside exactly, the meat, moisten exactly, it up. Exactly, exactly. So we've got our house rub here. It's got about 10 to 12 different spices, salt, pepper, sugar, a bunch of other things that I can't tell you. We generously rub the whole thing. All right, so you guys load it up on there. Totally covered. You don't want any meat or fat showing. We're ready for the smoker now. Okay, so how long will that smoke for? Smoking on hickory wood for 15 hours, 200 degrees. Looks like paradise in here. I'm with head chef Marine. Bobby tells me you're the chili master. He was probably lying to you. Let's do this. All right, I'm gonna All start right. with the onions and the hot oil. Hear that sizzle? And then we got red bell peppers, tomatoes. Now we got the smoked chili powder, the smoked cumin, crushed red peppers, and salt. Put jalapenos in. Crushed tomatoes. Perfect. Kidney beans with the corn. And corn. Yep. Fresh made chicken stock with some coffee in there too. We're gonna slice up the brisket? Yeah, now it's the best part for okay. the chili. Let's get to slicing. All okay. right, so you're slicing on the lean side? Yeah, we started for like deep spare corner, like okay. we could take wedge. Uh, and for those of you that don't know about brisket, about this side over, this is the lean side, this is the fatty side, just if you were wondering. Now we have brisket ready, nice and chopped. Look at this. It's gonna go right into the pot. You putting that whole thing in there, a whole brisket? Yeah, man. No. Give me a little piece of that. Oh, you want some of yes. that? Yes. I want one little time. piece. All right, I'm gonna give this to my tongue. What's that? Man, put it in there. Chili's on the stove. How long will it simmer on there for? Uh, for another 15, 20 minutes. That's it, 15, 20, 20 minutes? To go. Okay, perfect. I'm just gonna add one more last thing. To what do we got? Chop it up right here. So fresh chopped basil just to kind of even it all out. Yep, Perfect. just to get that little good smell out of it. Chili time. You know I gotta stir in this cheese and this sour cream. Get a nice big bite here. Mm, that's awesome. All right, really good chili. It's very thick, very hearty, and the fact that it's made with brisket instead of ground beef, I love that because every bite you get big chunks of the brisket. The corn in it set it off for me. I really like having corn in the chili. The coffee, you could taste a little bit. All Everything in this mixed very well. This is really, really, really good stuff. What do you normally get here, man? I normally get the barbecue burger and chili. What do you think of that chili? Chili is great, really warms you up on a cool rainy day like today. All right, guys, my grappling coach, Johnny Curtis, came to see me. Funny thing, it's weird that he's my coach because I crush him on the mats. But anyways, <laughs> Johnny, what do you think of the chili, man? Hey, the chili is good. I'm not lying like you just lied anyway. The meat's in there, the beans, the sour cream, the onions, really good. All right, what's next, man? Now we're going to make a brisket roll, then. 
We're gonna start with rye bread, this beautiful piece of bread. Toasting it up a little bit. Three slices of Swiss cheese. Three slices, you're going heavy, huh? Next, we're gonna warm up some sauerkraut. I'll put some Thousand Island on it. Oh yeah. Now, is that homemade Thousand Islands? Yes, it is. Wow. 98% of the items in here are homemade. So the sauerkraut right on top of it. While the bread is getting ready, we're gonna slice the brisket for the Reuben. Look at this. Beautiful, man. Put this on top of the bread. Here we go. Mmm. Really good stuff right here. I'm not a big Reuben fan, but this one was awesome. My problem with the Reuben, I'm not a big corned beef guy, but since they put the brisket on there, was really, really solid. And then it had the homemade dressing on it with the sauerkraut. Everything mixed really well. This is a really good sandwich. What do you think of the Reuben? I actually think it's really good. Um, I'm really surprised that the rye bread is super crispy and you can taste the tang of the Thousand Island and the horseradish is awesome. We're doing what's called the Dolly. Dolly's the name of my grandma, RIP Grandma, grandma Dolly, but um, she used to fry a bunch of venison and chicken for me when I was growing up, so that's kind of where the inspiration came from. Very cool. We're gonna take a chicken thigh and we've got a uh, buttermilk mixture with hot sauce, pickle juice, some egg. We're gonna go into some seasoned flour. What, what do you got in that flour? Seasoned flour, we got flour, black pepper, salt, granulated garlic and chili powder. We gotta go with the double dip to make and sure we yeah. get it crispy. You want the big fat breading on it? That's right. You gotta get that crunch. Absolutely. Back into the flour, give a little shake. All right, so we're ready to assemble the dolly here. We got a fresh toasted bun, some nice sliced dill pickle. Then we get our delicious fried chicken thigh right on top of the pickle. I don't know why more people don't use thigh. It's so much juicier. Moist, tastes better, it's so much flavor, better. doesn't dry out. Your grandma inspired you well. That's right. Why can all grandmas cook fried chicken, dude? What in the heck, man? I don't know. It's like they just it's know like how to do it. like we skipped a generation of fried chicken, though. What's next, man? Next is our honey bourbon wing sauce. This has Frank's hot sauce, honey, bourbon, and butter. And our fresh coleslaw, little pickle to keep it all together. And that's it, the dolly. Named after the grandma, you know it's gonna be good. Mm. So normally a chicken sandwich is white meat. I love the ones that are made with the thigh, the dark meat. They're so much juicier and just, I even like the texture better. I knew this one was gonna be bomb because every grandma knows how to make fried chicken. This did not disappoint, excellent sandwich, loved it. What do you think of the Dolly, man? It's awesome, man. They should call it the Dalai Lama because this thing is holy. <laughs> so normally I get a, a pulled pork sandwich with coleslaw. The last time I came in here, the mac and cheese bites were sold out. So today I came in and they had them and like, they're the best. They're so awesome. Crunchy, a lot of mac and cheese inside of it. Really like it. So I got the smoking salad um, with a side of pulled pork. Um, it's actually got like slices of avocado, fried onions, all the good stuff. My favorite place to come when I'm at work for lunch is the bone. I always get the honey bourbon wings. So here you've been coming here for quite a while? I have been, ever since the day they opened. <laughs> What's your go-to? It's usually the pulled pork sandwich. It's always huge, it tastes great, moist as can be, but I also love the collard greens, and even though they give you some coleslaw on the side all the time, I always get the full side because it's, it's that good. So the corn chowder is absolutely delicious. Creamy and chunky, awesome. How the burgers here, man? Man, it is out of this world, it is awesome. What's your go-to here, man? Pulled pork nachos. How good are they? Well, they better be good because I'm one of the owners. <laughs> Come on out of here really slow. I'm stuffed. I had chili, had Reuben's, I had a fried chicken sandwich. This place absolutely knows what they're doing. I'll see you soon on another show. Peace.